Welcome back, folks. We are back in Dyson Sphere program, and we have a problem. Because there has been an update to the game, which is awesome. Uh, fantastic that they are updating. But unfortunately, it has broken our copy inserters mod, which I'm really not happy about. Because I was going to set up the missing electric motors uh, in between episodes, but uh, every time I copy something with the mod active, uh, the game breaks. So that is going to have to wait. That is going to have to wait, because I don't want to do that, copy all those inserters manually. So instead, uh, well, we, we're going to continue on getting some uh, antimatter fuel rods and some artificial suns. Uh, that, of course, will also be something that requires a lot of inserters, but at least it's progress. And look at that Dyson Sphere. Beautiful, beautiful Dyson Sphere around the sun. With a star. Man, it looks good. And all those solar sails firing, and they are now back to being a steady stream. Uh, because I set up uh, some extra power on our planet here, uh, Mars 4. That was the problem. There wasn't enough power. And look at the rockets coming in here to build our new nodes. God, I love this game. God, I love this game. It is magnificent. So yeah, if you're enjoying Dyson Sphere program and if you're enjoying the series, it really would help me out a lot if you would uh, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And any comments are also more than welcome. Uh, they are great for the YouTube algorithm. And also I love getting comments. Uh, I love reading them and I reply to most of them as well. By far most of them. So if you have comments, suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to, to leave them because I love getting them. So what's next? We set up the antimatter last time. So and we set up the annihilation constraint spheres. So now it's time to set up the antimatter fuel rods because we can actually do that. Which is amazing. Which is absolutely amazing. So let's find somewhere where we can do that. There's not that much space left of this planet. That is already de de dedicated for another line of glass, I think. Or is it? Why would I want another line of glass? I think we'll try heading over there and see what that's all about. Why is it there? Uh, okay. You know what? Let's set it up here. There's some copper veins there. And there's some iron veins there, but other than that, we're good. Uh, actually, we're not, because this is a pretty big build. So is there a spot that we can have these things? Suppose we could build here. There's quite a bit of space. Let's try heading over there. Have a look see. Uh, there is something there. Let's turn off the veins so we can see them. I don't think there's space on this planet for it. Uh, 
Yeah, there is. What, what do we have here? We have the antimatter. Which we're gonna want more of. So maybe we can build it up here. Next to this one. Next to the uh, annihilation constraint spheres. You know what, let's do that. Uh, we're gonna need to get some more. Uh, what are they called? Foundations? And what else do we need while we're out here? We need some belt. Definitely need some belt. So let's grab that. And is there something else that we want? I don't think so right now. What are these made in assemblers? Okay, good. Take that over, drop that down, and that's good. Okay, so if we stick this in here, then we have a bit of space to work with. Let's give it some power. What is the power situation here? It's okay for now. It's okay for now. We do need... So we did need something. We need vessels and... Uh, where do we have those? Vessels and drones. There we go. Vessels. So I got... 90 will do. Stick you in there, stick you in there. Request these. And remote storage. Okay. And we need four items for this. We need antimatter. We need hydrogen. We need annihilation constraint spheres. And we need titanium alloy. There it is. Okay. And they take 12 seconds to make. Ten of each of those, so that would be. Let's see, thirty. Let's just set up thirty in a row, shall we? How much is a fifth of thirty? Uh, six. Yeah. So 36, actually. 36 in a row we can do, seems to me. All right. Let's see, where is the thing? It's there. So if we do a return line here, Actually, it needs to be an output this way, so it doesn't need to be that far back. So that's our output. 
and then we need... Do we put... Yeah, we do. Let's do this, and then we'll have either hydrogen or antimatter here, and either the strange spheres or titanium alloy there. So See, these two will come out here, I think. And then the other two will come out here. So let's start here. This will be antimatter. Then it will be annihilation constraint spheres. Then it will be hydrogen. And then it will be titanium alloy. So something like that. You need a recipe for antimatter fuel rods. And this will mean that we have room for two, maybe even three. I think only two lines, which is fine. Let's get the belt going up some more. Pretties build. Come on, guys. We're done. It's gonna need to be longer than that. Let's come over here. Okay. gonna be a lot of inserters to copy man but it's fine so you are input input no not built output so that's how it's going to be. Let's do that. What is this? Ooh. What is this? Oh, okay. Dismantle has had an update. I guess that's why we had the problem with the mod. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's make sure that we can get the power poles in between. We can. Wonderful. That's because I didn't do it right. No! I deleted the wrong one. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! The one that I just put all of the sorters on. Damn it! Input, input, output. Input, input. 
Okay. So they can be very close. Uh, I wonder, can they be as close up here? No. Okay, so that tells me that we need an autosave and that we are doing it like this. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, actually you know what, 34, 35, 36, that is how many we're going to be having, so there, you come to there, I think, There and you come to there. Actually, no, this is incorrect. You need to come to there. Actually, I think it's like this, isn't it? I think that's right. Okay. So that's. 36 of those. Let's do some inserter work. Solder work. No. Let's do this side first and then we can do the other one afterwards. So, this was so much nicer when we had the copy sorters mod. I kind of feel like it was more important for the developers to do copy and sorters or copy sorters uh, than doing the new uh, mass deconstruct thing. It's not that often that you deconstruct something, because, well at least not for me, because I build for leaving it there permanently. So once it's there, it's just there and it's never going anywhere. Of course it's nice for mines, because, whoops mines are of course not permanent they're just there until there are no more resources so in that instance it's quite nice but other than that really see the need for a mass deconstruct option. There we go. And then it's like this. We've done more than half. There. 
Ouro. Takes a long time with these orders, huh? I had forgotten how long this this takes. And there we go. Power, please. Seems like it. So let's just keep going. There, there, and there. Okay. And then, of course, we need one of these bad boys. Stick it here. Anti-matter fuel rods. Ten thousand is fine. And then all we need to do is power you up, of course. There we go. And you are charging. So then we can start requesting our items here. Which is wonderful. So let's see, remote storage, remote demand. So this is local demand. This is remote demand local after the auto save. Local storage. And actually you can do local demand as well. Then you are local demand remote storage, and you are local demand and remote demand, I think. So there we go. Our first things are coming in. We have antimatter, we have hydrogen, we have an annihilation constraint spheres, and we have titanium alloy. So we are producing. We are producing. It's awesome. Give us our first antimatter fuel rod. Here they come. There's eight of them. Getting antimatter fuel rods, and we are gonna grab these 28. 20, apparently. Oh, 28. And if we compare these to these, deuterium fuel rods 
have 600 megajoules of energy and in the fuel chamber they are plus 300 percent the antimatter fuel rods have seven and a half gigajoules of power and in the fuel chamber 500 uh, percent let's take all of you out actually let's quickly try and fill up that's 48 gigajoules that these are worth 48 gigajoules these 28 are worth 210 gigajoules 210 210 so that's 600 gigajoules we have in our oh that is wonderful well we are out of power again aren't we yeah. Well, we almost have our artificial suns, so I'm not going to do anything about it right now. What I do want to do is... Why can't I click you? Stick some of these in here clear out all that inventory space because these fuel rods that we have on us now these few is are just gonna last for so long it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and we are getting stuff the whole way except no Everything is full. I did my math way wrong there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. We could have had a lot more of these. But we'll stick in another line at some point. Well, I will. We have 200 of these now, so... Guess over here. Yeah. Now artificial suns. Take titanium alloy, frame material, annihilation constraint spheres, and quantum chips. They are not cheap to make. But we don't need a billion of them, so something I guess uh, let's see let's build you there drop some of you in drop some of you in some of you oh, man, storage and we will need titanium alloy, frame material, uh, annihilation constraint spheres, and quantum chips. Right? Right. Okay. And how long does it take to make? 30 seconds. So if we, let's just set up 10 machines of it. I mean, it doesn't need to be a huge production. It does not need to be a huge production. Uh, I'll give you some power. Artificial stars. And let's get this 
going. So titanium alloy. It's not wrong. Let's do annihilation constraint spheres. And then we'll do framework. Frame material and quantum chips. There. And then we need an output. some more though. You know what, let's just do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 machines. That's enough. That's more than enough, I think. This is the output. So 15 machines, that would be, what, one every two seconds? That's more than fine. We could set up 30 machines and do one every second, but we don't need that. We really don't need that. you to have any of those of the drones because we're not delivering it anywhere locally and you will have artificial suns and you'll have let's say a thousand of them let's do power It's sort of time. That, that, and that, and that, and that. Yeah, let's start on this side. Just get these done. Now we're probably not. Well, I know we're not making enough titanium alloy. We're definitely not making enough quantum chips. Frame material... maybe? But probably not. But I mean, once... this is has built up its stockpile then it'll just be going a little bit once in a while right because I don't think I'll be requesting artificial suns anywhere I'll grab a bunch and bring with me because they're too expensive to just have hundreds sitting on every planet. So, ah, no, I, I will definitely, I will definitely be requesting them, but not, and 
that many places, I think. So there. And then all we need to do is actually request this local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand. This is actually local demand, remote storage. Okay. Out come the drones. We have got annihilation constraint spheres. We've got titanium alloy. We've got frame material. The only thing we're missing is quantum chips, which we will continue to miss because we don't have that set to local supply over or a remote supply over on Iota Plutus, I think. So... Let's take a little trip to Iota Plutus. Before we do so, let's see where are we at with the Dyson Sphere. 13 gigawatts. Okay. Man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. None of the sections are fully completed yet. Uh, they're getting there. They are getting there. This is going to be so much power, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's amazing. Alright, let's head to Iota Bootis. There it is. And let's go. I will see you when we get there. Okay, we are arriving at Iota Bootis, and that was not my intention. To go to Iota Buddhist 2. It's over this way somewhere. Let's jump some more. There it is. Mm. Oh, great timing for the autosave. This is where we want to go. Look how fast our power is going up on the mech. That is amazing. Look at it. It's flying up there. And we have stuck the first antimatter fuel rod in there. And basically nothing has happened. Jesus. This is awesome. Alright, so we need to find our quantum chip production. Where is it? That's glass. That's particle broadband. Quantum chip production. That, that's those. Uh, where the heck is the quantum chip production? Well, this is titanium glass. This is the plain filters. This is quantum chips. And it is actually set to local supply and remote supply. But we're not getting any plain filters. 
Why are we not getting any plane filters? Because we're not getting any Casimir crystals. Why are we not getting any Casimir crystals? Because we're not getting enough optical grading crystals. Hmm. I think a thousand just went out. I think I'm going to tell this. Hmm. Do we want to tell it that it's not remote supplying these anymore? I think I do. So we simply don't, we're simply not producing enough optical grading crystals. We are simply not producing enough optical grading crystals. We need to find somewhere where we can get some more of those. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll have to do that. But that is gonna have to be a problem for another day. Because we are out of time. But I really wanna see our first artificial star, so we're not stopping. Uh, let's actually grab... Uh, where did they go? Weren't the quantum chips right here? Just grab all of them, and we'll head back to Mars, which is up there, and go, and I'll see you when we get there. Okay, we are almost back to Mars 2. Using artificial suns, or we will be once we stick all these in. There you go. All right, we have our first artificial suns being produced. Isn't it awesome? Artificial stars, they're called artificial stars. Artificial stars. Okay, and we're out. But we did get all the machines going. And there's the first one, come on. There it is, there's three. Three artificial stars coming down the line, packed nicely in boxes. Four, five, let's grab five of them. 
How high do they stack, I wonder? Probably in tens, right? back over here. Uh, let's grab another five. Yeah, and tens. Okay. That's okay. Uh, let's try heading down and over here. I think. Or do I? There's some space right up here, isn't there? That looks nice. Where is it? Is it here? That no. Then it has to be under the Dyson sphere. Yeah. So we need one of you. a bit, I think. Didn't really need to do that, but I wanted to. Okay, you're gonna need some power. And then you're gonna need some Drones. And I think that's it, actually. Of course, you're gonna need antimatter fuel rods. Not that many. A hundred is probably enough. Uh, so, what is our power situation right now? We're at. Generate 906 megawatts, and we need 1.5 gigawatts. So we're going to need a couple of these. So if we stick you in there. Actually, that's a bad spot, isn't it? Well, maybe not. Let's try it. Let's start by sticking four in. We will get antimatter fuel rods out. To here, I guess. Order. So that's four of them. That's 300 gigawatts of power, which is actually not enough. Ah, it is right now. But it's not enough in the long run. So. Stick one in there. What are you gliding with? One in there. One in there. And one in there. Give you some sorters. So that's 
an extra four, so that's 600 megawatts of power total. Does anything have sorters? They do. We need power poles all the way around, maybe? Well, let's do that. Just for funsies. There. And we are connected to the grid. Local, demand, remote, storage. Let's see these wonderful artificial stars get powered up as a beautiful ending to the episode with the magnificent Dyson Sphere in the background. Here come the antimatter fuel rods. They're going out. Oh, there we go. They are lighting up. Look at that. Man, that is cool. That is cool. And look how slowly it's burning. I mean, it's barely burning it. Oh, I love it. Look at that. And we have a generation capacity of 1.5 gigawatts now. <laughs> we'll nev never have to worry about power again. We'll never have to worry about power again. Ever. Ever. Man, this is awesome. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. Look at them and the noise they're making. That just looks so cool. I am so happy. I am so happy. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time